So here I'm going to show you the cam mapper. Um, I created a button, so open it. You can see it automatically opens your UV editor. Um, if you've closed your UV editor, you can just reopen it here. You also have access to Hypershade. Um, two things that you probably need when you're mapping. Um, so here we have pretty simple plane with a piece of geometry cut out. So the way Cam Mapper works is it's based on how you're looking at the object is how it's going to map it. Um, it's a little different from the regular Maya camera. So if you do a Maya camera create it based on create UVs based on camera, you get a this distorted shape, right? Um, the way Cam Mapper works is if you map it, then that's the way it maps it. Um, so if you rotate and look at it this way, you can see that now the cut is on the left side. And the text will always be, uh, the texture will always be up on, on the viewport. So you can, it also is based on pixel ratio. So if you want to map this at 64 pixels per meter, and we hit the cam mapper again, you can see now it's at 64 pixels per meter. Um, you can also just do a quick scale if you wanted a, a different pixel ratio. So 256, and then we go back to 128, right? So that's how the cam mapper works. Um, so let's go in here and we will extrude these faces up. Oh, so now you have something that looks more like, you know, this. So let's try to map it here. So you can see that it's it's stretching those UVs. So what we can do is go in here and select edges that we want cut. So we know we want these cut, right? So if we map this, you get something like that. So it's most likely because we missed a couple edges. So we'll cut those edges too and we'll map it. Now you get something a little better. So then you can select all your UVs and go do a quick fix. And you can see that it's cleaned up your UVs but they're not rotated correctly. Um, I've added this function to to make uh, your UV shells horizontal so you just select an edge or you select two UVs and you hit line shell to edge um, so now you have a much cleaner UV layout uh, so you can also map per face. So if you have these faces selected and you map this, then you have your separate shell here. Um, and then go in and select these top faces. Actually, let's map the side faces at the same time. and map that. If you wanted to map this this part together you could just do that, select these edges and map it that way and then once again just do a quick fix 
select an edge, make that horizontal again, and then just do a quick scale. Then you can use the regular Maya move and so UV edges. Select all those. So that's the cam mapper. Um, also when you do the mapping you can always have it start at zero which is nice if you always want it to start at zero. So you can see when I map this it will snap the UV shell to zero. If you have this turned off and you map it, it won't. It maps it towards the center. Um, so that is basically the cam map part.